Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. So we're on the topic this week of the physics of tennis and today's you know, idea is momentum. And momentum is the, the quantity of motion of a moving body. That's the definition of it. What that kind of means in terms of tennis is you know, when we look at our ground strokes, you guys, the racket, the movement of the racket completely trumps you know, the effect of my moving body, okay? You see guys on tour, you see yourselves even, falling away from a shot and swinging and still end up, you know, hitting a pretty good ball, stretching sideways, and the ability of the racket to move on the ball and their ground strokes is kind of the clear-cut winner in the momentum idea. But that brings us up to our volleys, and our volleys, you know, by nature, are a more compact stroke. There's not a lot going on in terms of backswing. So with the, with the idea that the racket's not going to have anywhere near the amount of momentum that we would have on our ground strokes, now it becomes important for my body to have momentum. Okay? And I think what you guys will see, I'm going to demo, demo a couple volleys here, is this idea of at least stepping in with a full weight transfer on my volley and hopefully having what we would consider more of a move through volley if the ball that's delivered to me allows for it we would always prefer to be taking a couple steps into our volley in order to increase our momentum on the shot simply because we don't want to rely on creating a lot of momentum with the racket okay so momentum on the volley let's take a look at a couple shots here you guys will see, okay, based on what Mark gives me, that allows me one little kind of full step. If the ball comes a little slower, you know, and I get that move through feeling, that's now creating a really good amount of momentum. Where I don't have to rely on the racket doing all the work. Get that nice clear cut picture that the body is creating a lot of the momentum and therefore the racket does not have to do as much work, okay? So that is your physics lesson for the day. Hope you guys enjoy that. Please click like below this video and if you happen to be watching on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks and we'll see you soon.